What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is a review on the Lego Star Wars Poe Dameron's X-Wing. It's, I think it looks pretty cool in my opinion. But before, well, before we get to the set, we first gotta review the minifigures. So first up, we have an R2-D2 right here. Looks pretty good in my opinion, but and yeah, it's typical R2-D2 that we get from practically every LEGO Star Wars set. Next is Janna. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Nice little bow and a little backpack for the arrows. I don't know what those are called. Pretty cool. And she has some big hair. Yeah. <laughs> and then next we have an exclusive minifigure. They're one of the Knight of Ren. Looks extremely cool in my opinion. It has a blaster and little weapon and if you take off the helmet there's just a black head no face which is kind of disappointing but hey whatever and then finally we get ye old po dameron he has a little blaster which i think it looks pretty cool you can just like lift up his hand he can just i don't know keep you pew pew <laughs> funny and now we get to the actual x-wing itself it's a really good build, I really like it, but for some reason there's no spring-loaded shooters up here. I don't know why, because the previous ones did have it up here, and right here there's nothing up here. It's only on the bottom, and if you shoot them, you just push up, and pew, it shoots. And right here, there's a little hole right here, that is for to put R2-D2, and as you see, there's a little, little stud po poking out, so R2 and can hold on so which when you flip the set over he doesn't fall off which i think is pretty cool and here's the cockpit so inside we have a little some control panels and a little lever switch right here and there's this right here that is for to put um <coughs> poe dameron's blaster in it you just it's hard to do this with one hand there we go it's in. And then you can get Poe Dameron himself. Whoa. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> and put Poe Dameron himself inside. There you go. Nice. And, um, after, and then you can also expand the wings. Also, what I think is kind of cool is on the bottom. Oh, whoops. I actually shot the other spring loaded shooter. We'll get on that later. Is right here we have this little piece poking out, which prevents the little stand right here from going all the way in and there's also some little shooters on the side pew and to expand the expand the wings there's this lever right here that you can just pull and and then the wings are like in attack mode or flight mode which looks pretty cool and to put them back you just flick the lever back like pretty simple which I think is a genius technique that they constructed but eh, like the others x-wings I guess and it also comes with a ladder I don't know where it went yeah I think I lost it <laughs> so but yeah it comes with a ladder right here so you can get your little minifigure inside which I think is pretty cool but my only com criticism about this set is right here, the spring-loaded shooters. They're really, really easy to shoot off by accident or when you don't want them to. So, Lego, if you would have changed that, well, sorry. If you would change that, I would really appreciate it. But, yeah, that's my only complaint about this set. Apart from that, pretty good set, especially with the exclusive Knight of Ren minifigure. I think it's a pretty good set. I do recommend... Even though it's a bit more expensive than the previous um, X-Wings, Poe Dameron X-Wings. This one's $90, which is, I have to say, ouch. But, yeah, anyways, that's this review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you do like this video, um, leave a comment down below if you're down for more LEGO Star Wars reviews. And remember that previous video um, about my ATST where I said I... If this um, if that video gets 10 likes, I will do my review on the ATSD Raider from the Mandalorian offer uh, still on the table. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. 
and if you do like this video well let me know and like the video and leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye